keep trying i am taking a new window and i want components one transistor one transistor then four to five resistors i am taking resistors one capacitor one inductor and two v sign sign one is for carrier carrier at the input side and in the emitter terminal message signal message signal at the emitter terminal and then dc voltage at the collector side and the ground connection ground earth i am taking one to the dc another to the full circuit i will just connect it now i will rotate the components whichever i want vertical okay i will just try to connect it at the base terminal i am connecting the source resistance here some gap is there it should be connected properly afterwards we will not be able to find it the mistake while connecting itself we should be very careful while changing direction if we click and then change direction it will be easy all this are vertical okay straight line you can do it straight i have to connect the capacitor and inductor in parallel capacitor and inductor in parallel and here i should give the dc voltage and at this point should be connected to collector terminal and this resistor also to be connected to the dc voltage okay at the output side collector side i have to give the resistor this is about the connection this is about the connection resistors i showed you the circuit this is 22k 22k resistor save okay next this is 6.8k resistor the vertical resistor 6.8k resistor and at the input side source resistance 1k and at the emitter side this resistance is 10k and at the collector side output resistor also 10k dc is we will take dc voltage 12 dc voltage 12 volts okay so what i have done uh, capacitor capacitor 0.01 u u means micro 0.01 micro farad and this inductor 130 milli henrys 130 milli henrys inductor okay i will tell the components this is 22k this is 6.8k input side 1k resistor emitter side 10k output side 10k resistor and the capacitor 0.01 micro micro means u and inductor 130 milli henrys 130 milli henrys dc voltage 12 volts dc voltage 12 volts now this is the carrier signal carrier signal double click on that v of we should give it zero v of always zero 
amplitude i will give amplitude i will give 7.5 click on save then frequency i will give 11k click on save okay next this is the message signal at the emitter message signal double click v of we have to give it zero click on save and amplitude we will give 1 volt click on save and the frequency we will give 1 kilohertz 1k click on save okay now if whichever the voltages frequency we want the display i'm going back to carrier click on the amplitude change display both name and value okay and the frequency select the frequency change display both name and value okay when you click this both are getting displayed here you can just separate them so that it will be visible both are overlapped here in two boxes you can just separate them okay i will show it for the message for the message i will go with the message amplitude change display both name and value okay okay so amplitude is coming here one volt again double click on this select the frequency change display both name and value we want the display okay okay so if it is overlapped both are overlapped here but they are separate two boxes you have to drag it properly and keep it aside so that both are visible the diagram i showed you both are visible here you can see amplitude is you click on this you move it into a visible side frequency also box you click move it to the visible side now you can see amplitude is one frequency is 1k similarly here two boxes are there properly if we drag it at least one box you properly move it and amplitude 7.5 now it is visible and if you properly move the second box also frequency 11k now it is visible okay amplitude 1 frequency 1k for message amplitude 7.5 frequency 11k for carrier and now i will give the voltage probe i will check the message first keep on the head of message one voltage probe head of carrier another voltage probe just we will check both of this okay analysis setup then transient 0 millisecond to 20 millisecond 0 millisecond to 20 millisecond we will give okay close now if you simulate if you simulate we have to save it so am i will give just three as the number am3 is the file name i am giving and now we are supposed to get the output message signal carrier signal we will be able to see high frequency means more repetitions green color more repetitions positive negative half cycle red color less number of repetitions that is message frequency message signal red color message signal green color is carrier signal okay so if you see it separately i am removing the probe at message red color waveform we have seen it properly i am just removing it if you simulate and check carrier it will be visible a little bit okay uh, if we, if you increase if you decrease the time instead of 20 if you put 5 millisecond it will be more visible okay just that change of time only otherwise the waveform is coming okay so if we put 5 and then simulate just to see otherwise 20 is okay for the modulated wave 20 is okay you can see here carrier constant amplitude a sine wave is there high frequency more repetitions okay now i will remove the probe here i will put the probe at the output side i want only modulated wave i want to see only modulated wave setup for modulation you constantly remember that as 0 millisecond to 20 millisecond for proper visibility of the waveform otherwise waveform will come but we will not be able to see it properly okay i am putting only one probe at the output side just to simulate we will get the amplitude modulated wave you can see here this is the amplitude modulated wave 
already in the theory in the theory the uploaded materials am modulation this is the waveform you can see here this is the waveform okay so maximum then minimum height v max v min so similar waveform we are getting over here okay so this is the v max and this is the v min again v max v min this is the model of waveform we are getting okay model of waveform we are getting amplitude modulated wave so if you see all the three together the visibility is not proper that's the only thing okay waveform will come if i put one probe at the message one probe at the carrier okay all the three they are their frequencies are not same so 0 to 20 millisecond we will not be able to see all the waveform together that is the problem waveform will come okay this is the amplitude modulated wave you can see green color is carrier frequency red color is message green is carrier signal red color is message this dark blue color is the amplitude modulated wave okay waveform is coming but a proper analyzation uh, we should understand okay 0 to 20 millisecond will be good for modulated signal for modulated signal okay so if you have any doubt up to this point you can ask me any doubt up to this point 